everyone. I tell you what, it's bloody dedication for this show. It's about minus two here at the minute. And we've got frostbite on my hands. I had to go and run them under the hot tap so I could actually move them again. All me, all me blooming thumb had gone tingly ass. I was thinking, phew, I want to know how blooming cold it would get. I kind of wonder how you guys get on in the snow over there. Like, I mean, does it, do you get frostbite on your fingertips and all that business? Someone was asking me online here the other day how cold is cold for the bush bee man, and I think minus three is up there. So. But the thing is, it's only jolly cold when you're in bed sleeping around here. So during the day, if you can survive, it's not too bad by about 10 o'clock of the, yeah, 10 o'clock of the morning. About three o'clock in the afternoon, you should go inside. My dad used to say that it's the good place to retire because if you don't get up too early and you go inside quick, it's all nice. You get a couple of nice hours in the middle of the day. Anyway, I digress. We're back to the mad fish tank construction. <laughs> My poor daughter, I was talking to her this morning and I said, she says, what are you doing? I said, oh, well, I'm making an observation hive out of a fish tank. And she goes, yes, and why are you doing that? And I said, oh, I don't know, because it'd be cool. And I said, you never know, I might get people motivated to make a fish tank and put on their bread. And she says, well, I'm not really sure how that's going to go, but perhaps you could all send me a photo and <laughs> actually prove that maybe there's other, one other insane beekeeper out there in the planet. And we're just going to clean up the rest of these little lips that I don't think we need. If you remember, we got the strips on the cupboard over here. Get rid of this, and then we're going to have to find some Windex. So, because at the minute, it's not really an observation hive because there's too much crap on it. So it'd be it'd be a crap hive, wouldn't it? <laughs> so we'll just get this off, and hopefully we don't smash nothing. <sighs> so far, so good. What do I do with my knife? Oh, look at that! I got my knife in my pocket. I'm not really sure if that does that make it a pocket knife. <sighs> Bloody make it dangerous in your pocket. It's not a good idea. Anyway, we're going to get rid of this little edge because this is going to be the entrance i left it on there because i thought it might brace things up a bit but since it's cracking apart i think we'll get rid of it then i made a hinge <laughs> anyway so jolly cold i think i've gone a little bit weird or a little bit weirder than normal <laughs> anyway come on get on with the job the cameraman says what are you doing <laughs> So I reckon that WD-40 stuff does sort of soften that up. Look at that, that's even softer than the other day. So maybe that's the secret. I don't know. Maybe it's just... Oh, anyway. So many maybes, we don't know what to do with them, do we? <laughs> oh, shit. Are you going to take that edge off? I think so. Are you just pushing your luck? Well, yeah, but, um, you know, I've been lucky so far. I might make this end the entrance yet, because that's got a bit of a sharp edge there. <sighs> you reckon I'm pushing my luck? Well, I just think this all this stuff's... It's only an extra bit. We won't get rid of that, though, because otherwise the thing will totally fall to bits. weight that would actually hold if you could make a big silicon door. That's an old another project though isn't it? That's for another day. If you're wondering why I've swapped beanies, I can't find my bush bee man beanie. So it's not very good. There's some people out there that want to order one so it's different to this one that I've got on my head. It's a little bit weird. But my bush bee man beanie's ready somewhere. I think actually I know where it is. It's in my jolly ute and the wife's taking the ute to work. So Anyway, so this maybe this is the prototype, pre-Bushman beanie. Check this out though. It's almost, you could rob a bank with it and all. And it's like, do, 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 do. Who's that there? Is that, would that make me spider bean? <laughs> Instead of spider man, I could be the bee man hiding incognito. Oh, fuck, it's too cold. We're only fish pond, fish tank wreckers, not fish tank makers. Bean. That's what we could do with that, couldn't we? <laughs> oh, 
otherwise it'll be like all the other shit in my shed that I think, oh, that's kind of cool. I'll say, I'll say that for another project. I wonder if I'm the only crazy person on the planet that says, well, this is rubbish. God, then build a bigger shed so you can keep it all. <laughs> What's that about? On to the Windex, I reckon we are. just nail this little front ledge on that we knocked off to give him a bit more landing pad and beauty up the front bit and then we'll have to put this little camera on a tripod and I might make it Mr. Muscles to help me carry the trough over here because see it's a bit it's a bit wonky donk and that'll be great get this close to the finish line and it falls apart won't it I was just saying to John if we smash the bloody thing we'll be driving around the district going looking for a free fish pond to give away <laughs> The missus might be happy though. <laughs> well, I think this cupboard's not real fucking square. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon we'll get excited and put a nail in here as well. Just hold it all together. Of course, what normally happens when you try to be extra, extra good, you just split the wood in half and then you go, well, what did I do that for? But luckily it isn't. It's nice soft wood. Talking about wood, it's weird how when you cut wood up, how it all smells different. Like, I don't know, there's all sorts of cool different smells going on. So I know why the father-in-law like playing around with wood. It's rather cool. With that pine and cedar and jarrah. And, and of course, then it gets down to when you put those wood chips in your barbie, doesn't it? I mean, that's obviously why that all smells and tastes different. Footnote to don't use pine in your barbecue. Very bad idea. It doesn't taste real flesh. <laughs> Give it a big stomachache. And a stomachache too, is it? Shall we nail the door shut too? You reckon? I reckon we should. We can gonna lift it by that, aren't we? It's a past life. <laughs> what do they call that? Repurposing, don't they? Oh, look at that. Perhaps we should leave it. Perhaps we should sit that on the top just for the hell of it so we knew what it was. No, what else have we got in here? Oh, it's a bit of dampness in there. <laughs> what have we got? We've got purity water clarifier. What the hell is that? I don't know. Prime something. Removes chlorine. Oh, chlorine removal. Paddy wax stick. <laughs> I do know. Something awkward. <laughs> oh, oh, and a frog to go with the dolphins. Oh, hang on. Hello, hello, what the fuck happened to the fish? No, no, we've got bees now. Run, run. Look at that! <laughs> a little snazzy shelf in there. Anyway, I reckon if we just run away. What am I doing? I was gonna nail that shut one night, so we didn't So we didn't get our fingers jammed. I think we might just put a little nail up here just to hold it shut while we carry it up. Carry it into position. At least look at this bloke. He's about on par with me. <laughs> He's got a shelf in there, he just stuck some screws straight through the door. That's a pretty good effort. <laughs> At least the cupboard's not going to be too shocked. Right, Mr. Muscles, let's get it over here. <laughs> I wouldn't be like you. <laughs> it's true. Now if we put this side down first. Yep. So we get our fingers out. And then that one. And here we are. Look at that! We made it safe and sound! Give it a little dance. Just working out the cover for this thing up there. I wonder actually if we could just... 
Yeah, we might just get some bloody. We might just go down to the shop and buy a barbecue cover and throw over it. What do you reckon? Then people could pretend they're barbecuing up there. Just trying to do a bit of repurposing. I don't know whether it's actually going to play out the way I want it to, but we'll just knock this bit of crap off here and then we'll figure out what we're going for from there. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see if we can get that off without wrecking it. <laughs> That'll be the next thing, won't it? Oh. I'm figuring that's just... Right here. Hopefully that's just the bit that holds it on there, but we'll find out in a minute, won't we? If I can find my u butte remover up. Well, at least it's starting to warm up a bit. I feel my fingers again now. Good gosh. What a crazy weather. Oh, for all you folks over there that are in spring and enjoying it nice warm, think of us down here upside down. It's bloody freezing. I think it'll be nailed down from there, but I can't see any, maybe it's just glued there. Anyway, we'll give it, we'll give it a knock and see what it does. <gasps> smells like dead fish. <laughs> right, look at that. In the bin with you. Hopefully we won't put it in the bin just yet. We might need it. Oh, I was just thinking that. I put the I put the frog and a dolphin over there on top of the bee box, and I'm thinking, gosh, that's silly. I should just chuck the shit out. <laughs> Waste not, what not, but what the hell I'm keeping a frog for, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's not waterproof anymore. Yeah, hell, you never know. We might start a frog farm. Talking about that, I wonder if you had a tree frog, would you put a frog in there and freak it out? Like, I mean, that's a... Bloody frog would be all confused, wouldn't it, saying, Bloomin' heck, where's my hat? I didn't get a hat, look at me. I'm a bloomin' underprivileged frog. Right, so we'll sit that on the top and then we'll see if we can't make a bit of a lid. That'll work. Look at that, that'll make it all look pretty. <laughs> so what we need to do is we need to put our... I wonder if we make it as part of that or whether we... I reckon we will. I reckon we'll put the wood in there and then it'll be something separate. Let's do that. Well, let's see if we can find a bit of particle board to pop in there to make a lid. <sighs> God, <laughs> things we do, honestly. Here's something that I don't, really, I don't know whether this will be the right size or not, but still. Oh, well, at least it's too big. That's all right. Better too big than too small. There's a whole naughty joke in that, but I'm just gonna be quiet. I wish I knew what I did with my pencil. <laughs> I don't know where that went yesterday. I'm sure there's another one in the house. I'm pretty sure there would be. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at that, seemed sharp. Hell, things are getting desperate around here. We're even stealing their pencils. It wasn't me that stole your pencil. It was someone else that was helping. <laughs> well, maybe I'll be exonerated. If we were in a court of law, I'd be exonerated, wouldn't I? Sort of, maybe. If we were in the courtroom and the judge says, now, who's responsible for the pencil thieving? Or is it, is it the bloke using the thieved pencil or the actual pencil thiever himself? I don't know. That would make for an interest. Talking about interesting court cases, down here in Oz, there's some funny folk that are suing their neighbours for kicking the kids kicking their football over the fence. I don't know, apparently they broke some fancy crockery pot or something or other, but heck. Just go over and have a beer and have a chat about it. I mean, honestly, it can't be that complicated, surely. I guess, is it borrowed until it's never returned and then it becomes a theft? Is that how that works? I guess maybe it depends on the value too and who you're doing the borrowing from. Because I'm fairly sure if you, there were some people that used to work at GMH and they just borrowed motors and kind of eventually got in trouble because you technically can't borrow a motor long term, especially if you sell it to someone else. So maybe it's thieving when you sell it on sell it. Perhaps that's what it is. I don't know, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's messed up. Don't take shit that doesn't belong to you. 
Great life advice, Dad. Yes, yes, very well. Technically, it belongs to me, even if it is my wife's. I mean, it's half my possession, isn't it? The pencil, I, I think I'm sort of half owning it. But then again, I suppose that normally happens. What is it when you get married? The wife says, what's mine is mine, and what is yours is ours. I think that's how that goes. I think that's the same, <laughs> how it works. Anyway, it's all good. I don't know what I'd do without me lovely wife. I'd have no one to steal it from. <laughs> anyway, we'll cut this up. And here's the go button. We're getting a bit of use out of this thing at the minute, aren't we? anything off that was important in any case. Right, that's a pretty good start. What's going on? Honestly. It's more likely to be square since I wasn't involved in the construction, but we can't guarantee it, so we'll make it this way. Because my brother, who's a bit of a carpenter. Well, he got a job at a school. Did I tell you this story? He got a job at a school making windows, or making the screens for the windows. Because of the old wooden windows, and back in the day, when you made a wooden window, you just made them all to suit each other. So they didn't have, they weren't all perfectly uniform. So he measured up the window and thought, cool, and he went out and he cut all the frames and all made all the jig and cut them all up put them all together, put all the screens in, put the first one in, fitted perfectly, went along to put the next one on. Of course that was bigger and the other one was smaller and they were all different sizes, which they always are. And so he had a whole heap of screens that he didn't know what to do with. And he rings, I reckon this is the funniest part of the story though, he rings my dad up and says, Dad, what am I gonna do? You know, I've been paid for the job and I've used all of these materials and now I'm you know, gonna have to buy new materials. Anyway, my dad says, well, it's a lesson learnt, isn't it, son? Don't do that again. <laughs> so, I guess that's what it is, isn't it? Learn by our mistakes on this journey of life. <sighs> Don't comment about it. <laughs> Don't comment. Don't comment about it. What happened them. to you then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I thought you were going to say. Exactly right. That's what I was thinking. Everybody out there would be saying to themselves, how come you've lived this long and not learnt nothing? Off to the cutting up machine. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my gosh, eh? What a project we've got going on. Let's see if we can make our little, what's it called? A guide, I think. Let's see if we can make a straight line. That's not very nice, is it? What happened to you? Yeah, tell me what. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> You'd all be impressed, I've still got all my fingers. Look at that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Oh, well, it's not completely perfect, but it'll do for our purposes. <laughs> do we need a nail in that, you reckon? No. Nah. That'll be fine. We can put it that way up now, and then that can be completely flat against the top. And then in the summer, we can put it the other way up and have an air vent. Oh, look at us. Look at us, thinking of everything. That didn't sound good. Right, anyway. <laughs> oh shit, maybe we should put a nail in it, do you think? I don't know. <sighs> oh, come on. Jolly heck. <laughs> I think me nail's drunk. It's all got a bit wonky donk. <sighs> <laughs> he 
Mist. Look at that! Oh, amazing! Me think amazing! <laughs> Thankful for small mercies. <laughs> Winterly. Summer lead. <laughs> no, I don't think our top bars are winning any beauty contests, but they look kind of cool looking upwards. Whoa, shit, don't do that in a hurry. Anyway, we better make sure the lid goes on. Hell, that won't that suck if we've gone to all this trouble and it still doesn't work. Golly, gosh. Maybe a bloke should have tried that out before. Anyway. In theory it should fit. Oh, there we go. That should hold it all together quite nicely. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, we'll see if we can get the lid off without being beadified. Woo! ta Look at that! <laughs> Shit! I'd like to see you try that with a box full of bees. But anyway, now! Don't forget to come back in an episode's time and we'll see if we can get the ladies established. Or at least popped in here. Ah, God. Apparently we've got to carry this full thing up the staircase, so that'll be great, won't it? So we're going to have to set up the tripod and get Mr Muscles to help me because I don't reckon I'm carrying this up there by myself because that could be quite insane. So we'll take these back off and come along and see whether we make it.